again welcome you all to Friday Mariners and in this video we will see about the basics of sounding that is carried out on board ship. So let's get into this video. Common sense plays a major role in any operation that is being carried out on board. So think before you engage in any work. And we would like you to know that the information in this video are cumulative shared experience of our fellow seafarers. So now let's look at some of the basics we need to know about sounding. Sounding on oil tank and sounding on water tanks. Since sludge and oil like fuel oil and lube oil have distinctive color, we do not require any media to indicate them on a tape. But there is an exception to it. While in ECA, we use MGO or MDO that is marine gas oil or marine diesel oil which does not have any distinctive color and it is lighter in nature. So we require a indicating medium usually a thick paste which changes color while in contact with the oil. In the picture you can see that the paste of the tape changing from pink to red. And these color changes depending upon the manufacturers. And similarly, water is also colorless and it is also requiring an indicator, which is normally a non-toxic paste since it is commonly used in domestic water, that is freshwater tank. And in the example, you can see the color on the tape changing from yellow to red in contact with the water. Before we go any further, first let's see what is sounding and why is it necessary. We all know that sounding is a process in which we determine the amount of liquid in a particular tank and it is necessary because it gives a basic idea of a general condition of an engine room and an increase in any of the tanks will indicate an abnormality on the related machinery. Hence, it is a vital operation that is being carried out. For example, an increase in fuel oil drain tank indicates abnormality in fuel oil system. An increase in sludge tank shows an abnormality in purifier system. And if you like to know more about the tanks, please check out our other videos. So, now we know that by sounding we know the quantity of a liquid in a tank. Now let's see how we are measuring it with the use of a simple diagram. Here we can see the top and the bottom of the tank and the oil level is given with dotted line and you can see that the measurement from the bottom of the tank till the oil level is called as sounding and the measurement from the oil level to the top of the tank is called as allage. These pictures provides a description of the sounding pipe. It shows the protective cap or the lid, the quick closing valve and the pressure relief valve. Usually the protective lid or the cap is made up of dissimilar material to avoid spark. And as you can see the sounding pipe is generally vertically mount but in some cases it, it is slightly bent for feasibility. And as you can see, the end of the sounding pipe is given with a striker plate. And it is thicker than the other part of the floor since the bob or the weight of the sounding tip hits onto it. The second picture shows how the sounding is taken. A weight is suspended with the measuring tape inside the sounding pipe to indicate the level of liquid in a particular tank. And once we get the sounding in a particular tank, we equate it with a pre-calculated table which gives the volume in the tank at the particular sounding. We'll see about the sounding tape, interpolation, list and trim calculation, bunker calculation in a separate video. Here is an example of a sounding book used on board and let's see an example how to get a volume using our sounding. The diagram shows a sounding table which has the sounding measurement listed as per the trim either by stern or a head. By plotting the sounding value, 
with the trim we get the quantity of a liquid in a tank which is in meter cube and in general if it is a common rectangular or a barrel or a trapezoidal tank the volume can be found out either by l into b into h or pi r square h or the simpson rule so here is a example of a sounding tape used on board here you can see the handle the sounding tape and the weight by which it is suspended that's it for today guys hope i have covered all the basics of sounding operation that is been carried out on board ship for details of tanks please kindly watch our previous videos and in future videos we'll cover about the bunker calculations trim and list corrections and interpolations and all these calculations that is been carried out with relation to the soundings and as always thanks for watching this video till the end please do like share and subscribe and please give your thoughts in the comment section below see you in the next one